Right. Now that you've created your database, the database is ready. There's certain other things that you should be able to do in the data. That is, you have to think about who is getting the access to the data, isn't it? You have to grant the access. That is, you have to either give the access or probably reconsider, right, whom to give access or you probably have to take the access back. Because let's say the employee is leaving the department or the company, then in that case, of course, it's a case of taking the excess of the database back. So grant is nothing but giving the excess of the database or database management system to somebody. Reconsidering is basically reassigning the database or the access to the database to somebody and take it back is of course you are trying to revoke so both these are nothing but revoking the database so grant and revoke are the two commands which work for controlling the access to the database and hence these two commands are called as dcl which is data control language right so you would understand that DNL would remain the same. D stands for data and L for language. It's just the middle alphabet and the middle word is changing. M for manipulation, Q for query, C for control and, you know, D for definition, right? So this way we can easily remember these languages, right? So grant and revoke are nothing but data control language. With these commands, you can decide whom to give control of your database or database management system and to what extent. Now, apart from giving the control, there are certain other things that you need to do, right? The first one being, uh, there are certain other commands that you need to know. One is commit, right? Then there is something called as a rollback. And then there is something called as save point. It's not that we'll be using these commands very often, but we should know about it, right? Commit is nothing but giving a commitment that save my work till this particular point of time. That is, you'll not be able to go behind this particular point when it comes to changing the database or database management system over here. So commit is that command which says that, okay, I'm very sure that I'm done with the work till this particular point. I'm probably working ahead of it, I'm at this point, but commit says that, okay, till this point, please save my work. I don't want to make any further changes in this and this is final. Rollback again, on the uh, other hand, is uh, saying that, okay, I've committed till here. Probably I need to make some changes at this particular point. I am at this particular point. I'm defining my database. I'm giving the names of the column, you know, entering the data over here. But I think I need to roll back to this particular point and take me back over here till this particular point. So roll back can basically give you that right or give you that advantage and access that you can roll back to a point certain point where you're working on your database that is a rollback and save point is nothing but it says that save the work till this particular point of time right so these are the three commands which are called tcl which is transactional control language here t is coming for the first time this way you can remember this one as well so t stands for transaction c stands for control and l for language so transactional control language these three commands are tcl okay now let's revise what you see until now let's see all the five kind of commands and let's spend a minute to revise what we have seen till now all right so this table sum setup isn't it so all the SQL commands can be classified under five major categories, which are DDL, data definition language, DCL, data control language, DML, data manipulation language, TCL, transaction control language, and DQL, data query language. Now let's look at all of them one by one. Now, as we've seen, data definition language is nothing but creation, dropping, altering, and truncating what? Columns right please remember that if we talk about ddl these things are nothing but majorly related to columns that i'm creating columns i'm defining the attributes and columns i'm dropping columns i'm altering the name of the column or the data type of the column or anything else truncating means removing all the columns starting new afresh in the database right so these commands work on a column level but columns are not really a data our data is majorly rows the values, isn't it? And that's where DML comes in and DML actually are working on what? Rows. So you insert rows, that is insert data in the columns. You update the already inserted data or you want to delete a certain data because it's outdated or probably it's wrong or whatever it might be the reason. These are the three commands which help you 
take care of your rows which is the real data in your database okay dml stands for data manipulation language right these are the two most important command and of course there is one which is called as data query language although you can see only one command over here select but this is so common we'll use this command so often that it will become a matter of uh, you know something which is very very common in life right so uh, you had to almost start every sql syntax with select because you're giving a command you're querying it that is you're retrieving the data back from here right this is called as data query language which is tql and we have already seen dcl and tcl right in this video only that data control language it is used to give control access of a database or databases or database management system so the relevant people relevant people in the team can have the right access and transaction control language is basically limited to the person who is working on the database which is commit rollback and save point right so these five constitute our sql commands right now i think we have uh, done the ground level work on sql i think it's time for us to now start working on sql and write some code over there to see how it you know, to have the look and feel of it right so let's move on to that